Um, well, I'm going to present a project, a research project I've been carrying out with several engineering colleagues from the University of Cadiz, and the project focuses on foreign language learning through the title, what was the title? Uh, foreign language learning uh, through a gamified app uh, in order to, um, to do peer assessment. The app we have designed for the current project is called Guess It. It's a language trainer. And what I'm going to do uh, in my presentation is, what's going on here? I guess so could you give me a hand and move the slides because I think it's a little bit too um, well, I think you're. Uh, I don't know what, what, whatever you want. <laughs> you are that's my right hand now. So, um, I think you. I will give you first a uh, short introduction of the background, uh, the teaching background for which we have designed the app. Then I will give you um, a brief idea of uh, the design and architecture of the app, the case study, uh, case study we carried out, the first conclusions we came to and some ideas for future work. So, um, well, just to give you an idea on the background we designed the app for, we do replace very huge language courses, which means um, we have a lot of students, more than 100 students in only one course, which is quite a lot. And with very few um, hours of classroom teaching and many hours of dependent community. This is why uh, we are always concerned about supporting students on the classroom level. And why we designed this app. The app we designed aims to engage students not only in independent learning and through ubiquitous learning devices, but also to improve different language learning skills as well as critical thinking. The app also aims to get students actively involved in their own learning process making them part of the uh, process and game development. Um, and last but not least, it aims to provide teachers with different learning statistics and to enable them to get in available information for their assessment. How this is made, I would go to tell you or show you through my presentation. So let's jump to the next slide. So just to give you an idea um, of, of the app, what is the app about? Well, um, to, the app is implements a simple game based on guessing, creating and assessing word definitions in the target language. It is um, designed at this moment for three different languages, German, English and Russian, and have, has been tested with German language learners. Well, um, to play the app, students have first to select the category, the level and the number of questions they want to play. Once they have done so, um, the system auto automatically delivers the first definition and students have to enter the missing word, which is here um, highlighted by a green color. But it's not only about guessing words. Students have, once they have guessed the word and entered the word, they have to rate it by saying how much do they like the word, or even to report the, the definition. Oh no, I don't like it. They can indicate different reasons for that. The definition is too difficult to guess, the definition well, is incorrect um, in terms of linguistic um, in terms of content, it's offensive, and so on. So um, they need to evaluate and, or even to report the definition in order to go to the next one. So they get actively involved in the game development and in the learning process. And they can even copy some interesting words from the definitions by clicking on the symbol you can see, that, like a, a biscuit, I don't know how to say that in English. And to, to put it in their personal notebook, which is also included in the app. And last but not least, they can listen to the definition, uh, to the pronunciation of the different definitions, which is automatically displayed by clicking on the icon. So let's go to the next one. Um, additionally, while well, students always receive constant feedback on the game performance. Um, 
they can they receive feedback on their last game performance by marking correct answer answers or incorrect answers and then by clicking on this they get much more information the um, entire definition is displayed and they can go again through what they played before and they can get also different information about their rankings the sex ratio words played and um, best category and so on Thanks for um, apart from guessing words, from waiting words, students are also allowed to enter in the definition. For every 20 words they have played, the system automatically delivers them a new word to define. Um, and this slide gives you some idea of how does it work. Once they have entered the definition, this definition becomes part of the game, of the app we have designed for, so the app is constantly increasing its content. And once it is entered, it becomes part of the game and it will be played and graded by other methods. So this is all the peer assessment I have been talking about. Um, well, um, as I have said, well, um, students are allowed to enter definitions and so the corpus is growing. And sometimes there might be definitions for the same words, but mm -hmm. the words might be defined in a different way, according to students' preferences, according to students' knowledge, and so on. So, um, what happens? There are definitions with higher ratings, and these definitions will appear more frequently than those with lower ratings. Um, Another important aspect about this app is that it doesn't engage um, only students in independent learning and vocabulary learning and so on, but it gives also a very interesting um, assessment to, to the supervisor by connecting this app to a web portal we have designed for this project. And the web portal allows teachers to monitor and to get an insight into different learning and, um, statistics and assessment. Here you can see only one example, but there are many examples which you cannot focus on this because there's not enough time. But there are several statistics you can get out of the web portal, like um, how they perform one student compared to another one, and so on. How, what about the guessing rates, you know, and so on and so forth. So let's just go. Okay. And this is um, well, a kind of um, diagram um, which summarizes a little bit what I said before, and um, which shows you how the interaction between, between the learning and the server takes place. So what you see on the diagram first is the server delivers a de definition to the learner. Then the learner tries to guess it. And then the server gives him feedback. This is correct or not correct. And then the learner is invited to report, well, to uh, evaluate, to ask, assess, or to report the definition. And this information goes again back to the server and then to the server. The next diagram shows you the entire process and the entire cycle. What does the student, uh, the interaction um, from the students with the server, and then um, the influence or how does it um, comes to or the impact it has on the learning community, which comprises as well as students, as well as the teacher, and then it comes again back. So it's, it's all a cycle, um, which, um, which means it's, it's not only an, an app which allows students to interact um, with the system or with the teacher, but it has really, what students do has, has really an impact on the rest of the group or on the rest of the learning community. So everybody is really responsible for, for what um, he's doing and for the game development. Besides, every student decides in which, in which direction the game and the content is moving to. Well, the case study we carried out was uh, with a German as a foreign language course at the University of Cadiz. We played it with more than 120 students. And the corpus um, of the system we started with um, contains, as you can see, 282 uh, two words. 
But after four weeks of the experiment, it grows, it has grown. So we ended up with 826 definitions. Some of the definition, um, definitions were of the same words, which they all were the enter, enter or the supervisor at the beginning of the experiment, and some were new words, so new challenges. This means that the game sessions, each game session, provides students with new learning content and with a new challenge. So they had to keep playing all the time. Um, to test the impact of the app on students' learning, we did, or we asked students to fill in four tests. One pre-test before starting the experiment and three post-tests, focusing each Mm, time on different levels. Inviting students, well, this week you should focus on level one and two, which is growing. Today it's about 20 words, 30 words, but it might have 80 words at the, by the end of the week. So keep playing, keep going. The uh, um, second poster was about level three, and the last um, test was about all four levels. Um, when we designed the process, the content of the process, we all, we all were concerned about including 50% of the teacher's definitions and 50% of the definitions provided by the students. Uh, what was the outcome of uh, these tests? Well, as you can see, the mean difference from the pre to the post test, especially from the pre to the post test, we, was significant. It was by four, uh, 5.35, um, uh, so it was really high. And students pay, played, and this is amazing, a total number of 165,178 definitions, which in my opinion is really a high number. So if you consider just one minute for each definition, well, students play more than 20 hours. So you have to take always into account when you evaluate number, that this is one innovation we did, one task we gave them. Uh, additionally, there are other, many other tasks to, um, in order to succeed in their independent learning. Um, next one, please. Um, this graph shows you that generally we had, um, the definitions had a very high rating, guessing ratio. Especially if you consider the last five columns, and go to the assessment because we are running out of time. Um, the assessment was generally very high. Actually, the mean difference between the assessment made by the supervisor and students was really low. There was a, a significant difference, and um, almost twenty percent of the assessments made by those were the same. So they really agree about the um, assessment. Uh, furthermore, there were only, were low, was a very low percentage of definitions were, which were assessed in a totally different way. You can see from the numbers. But most of them, the great majority, were assessed uh, with high grade. If you take into account, they had um, five stars to evaluate the definition. And 97% rated the definition um, over three points. So, um, and just coming to the conclusion, what did we do with this app by designing the system? Well, we um, tried to increase um, collaborative learning uh, through a ubiquitous um, device. And uh, we tried to um, give uh, the teacher well, um, a, a web portal to monitor and obtain valuable information regarding learning analytics and um, assessment. And um, in terms of results, well, we can say that uh, the server logs as well as server logs and as well as the pre and the process showed that students played very much and learned a lot. Um, in terms of future work, we well, I would like to try it out with much more students with different sample size and um, evaluate well, the actual impact on the grades. How do they improve compared to the previous grades they got on the first semester or 
before uh, using the app. No? It had a huge impact and so on. But for this, you have to, to do it on a longer term, uh, more than four weeks. And we would like to, um, to use the web portal to early detect um, possible weaknesses and to avoid the students paying the calls because sometimes you get valuable information of the, of the web portal to prevent certain um, problems students might have uh, with vocabulary or with different structures or learning um, issues. So that's, that's it, basically, that's it. We have um, the design of the app. Um, we did it uh, in collaboration with uh, two other colleagues from the engineering field, but Alberto is really the one who the engineering colleague who designed the software with our ideas, support, and so on. So take advantage of this, because he might give you information, which I, as a language teacher, wouldn't explain the same way.